We have an incredible story coming out of London here, The Guardian reports. A man who sparked an outcry on Twitter after tweeting about confronting a Muslim woman on a street in Croydon, South London, and challenging her to explain Brussels, has been arrested by police. The Metropolitan Police confirmed that a 46-year-old man had been arrested on Wednesday evening in Croydon on suspicion of inciting racial hatred via social media. Apparently that's a thing. So this guy's name is uh, Matthew Doyle, and I want to give you exactly what he said here. He tweeted, I confronted a Muslim woman yesterday in Croydon. I asked her to explain Brussels. She said, nothing to do with me. A mealy-mouthed reply. And then when people went after him, he responded, who cares if I insulted some towel head? Really? <laughs> okay, so there's so much to say about this story. First of all, divorcing for a second the, the uh, legal angle of this story. Do I like Matthew Doyle? No, I think he's an idiot. <laughs> I do. Because in his mind, I don't doubt that when he went up to some random Muslim woman and he's like, Explain Brussels! In his mind, he thinks, Got her. Like, I'm keeping it real right now. You're Muslim. They were Muslim. End of conversation. Now explain it. Because you're somehow guilty, even though you had literally nothing to do with it. Explain it. Explain it. You know, that really is like going up to some random... My mother's a Catholic. It's like going up to my mom and, say, and saying, Oh, yeah? Explain the uh, mass child fucking. Do that in the Catholic Church. She'd be like, what? That's got nothing to do with me. That's got nothing to do with me. It's like going up to somebody, Andrews Brevik, who said in his uh, manifesto, yeah, I'm doing this because I want to stop the Islamization of Europe. And, oh yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a Christian and I'm doing this for Christianity, for Christendom and for right-wing politics. It's like going up to somebody saying, explain Andrews Brevik, why don't you explain it? Going up to some southern white dude who's a Protestant. Explain the KKK. Explain it. That, that's just stupid. You are lumping in. You are generalizing. You are an idiot. Like, you're just a bigot and you're an idiot. And then to say, oh, just towelhead. Who cares? Okay, I don't like you. And I don't think you're smart. I think you think you're smart. And you think it's like, got him. I'm keeping it real when nobody else keeps it real. No, you're keeping it stupid is what you're doing. That's what you're doing. Okay. Now, having said all that, should he be arrested? www.fuckno.com Are you kidding me? So, somebody's a, a dick, somebody's a prick, and they're tweeting about how they were a prick, and you're gonna arrest them? Okay, you would have to arrest all of social media. Every single one of us has been a dick at one point or another. Every single one of us. So, you're gonna say, well, this one was particularly... Racial. Well, it wasn't really racial, it was more religious-based. And again, I disagree with him on what he said, but is that enough to lock somebody up because they said something that made somebody who's religious uncomfortable? Oh, do you really want to go down that road? Do you really want to go down that road? Go pick out any secular talk on religion, any segment we've done, and I rip all religious people. You know, it would be so easy for some Christian fundamentalist a right-wing evangelical to say, look at what he said. Look at Kyle. He's an anti-Christian bigot. We're gonna need... I think this rises to the level of a crime. I think you just incited hatred on social media. So we're gonna need to go ahead and lock you up, Kyle. No, you can't go down this path. What are you, fucking stupid? The whole idea of free speech and free expression and human rights is... Unless you're doing physical violence, it's basically anything goes. Now, don't get me wrong, there are a few exceptions. So, libel, slander, you know, direct in incitement of violence. So, you would have to say, I am going to go to your house and physically assault you in order for it to be a crime. He didn't do that. This guy's just a dick. So, if you're not in that camp and you don't understand how that needs to be the, the rule, it's going to come back to bite you in the ass. It is. Whether or not you realize it, it's going to come back to bite you in the ass. Because everybody's offended by something, and it's easy to just throw around terms like, you know, bigot or, or racist and stuff like that. So, even to the point where you could say, for somebody who's a strident uh, left-winger who goes after right-wingers with fury like myself, why can't, wouldn't somebody say, look, this person's a, a, an anti-Republican bigot. Gotta lock him up. They offended me. They're inciting hatred against Republicans. Lock them up. You don't want to go down that path. 
You don't want to go down that path. Because then everybody gets to lock up everybody when they're offended, and everybody else is offended by something that other, the other people are not offended by. It's got to be all, it's got to be no holds barred, anybody says anything. The only rule is you can't directly threaten violence against people, uh, and you can't do libel or slander, which by the way is rightly super hard to prove. But just to show you what the truly liberal position is, guys, did you know that the ACLU, American Civil Liberties Union, defended the KKK because the KKK wanted to do a march through a, a predominantly minority town. So they said, okay, if we do violence, take us down, lock us up, do whatever you got to do. But we're going to do a peaceful march, we're going to spread our bigotry and intolerance, and we should have the right to do it because that's what free speech is about. The ACLU was like, they're right. They're right. So we don't need to agree with the message. We could despise the message and we could hate the messenger. And I could argue with this guy like I just did at the beginning of the segment, where I'm like, here's the trillion reasons why you're wrong. But the second we cross the line into, and now I will lock you up for saying what you said, now we're the bad guys and we're the conservative assholes. See, do you get that? <laughs> Once you cross the line into censorship, and I'm going to lock you up, and this is a crime, well now, you just went from being the person who's right and good for explaining to this person why he's a bigot, and now, all of a sudden, you're the, the right-wing asshole who's an authoritarian who's basically saying, anybody who doesn't agree with me, I'm going to lock you up. That's not liberal. If that's liberal in any sense, it's liberal in the sense that Stalin was liberal. It's authoritarian leftism, which is not the right kind of leftism. You don't want to be in that crowd. You want to be with libertarian leftism that believes in civil liberties and rights for everybody and also is liberal and progressive at the same time. So, don't do it, man. Don't do it. I'd let this guy go. Apologize to him. You went from being right, the social media mob going after him saying, you're a fucking dick and you're an idiot. They were all right. And then the second that this guy got arrested for doing it, now, all of a sudden, you made me, a guy who hates this guy, now I have sympathy for him, and now I'm defending him because I have to do it on principle because nobody deserves to be locked up for saying something stupid. Sorry.